discussing one of our favorite bags that I have used now for more than five years. This is the Max Edition Jumbo Versipack, and I'm delighted to review this today. Uh, since I've used it for five years, I, I know all the great things about this bag and I also know some of the challenges that this bag has uh, and I'd be happy to share both with you. The most important uh, thing to know about this bag when we look at this review is the fact that it is a bag that has multiple spaces to carry things and I'm going to quickly give you an overview of the spaces in which you can look at carrying these things in this bag this review. The top area here has a YKK zippered space uh, where you can see I, I carry some band-aids, I carry some chewing gum. I also in this space keep my dark glasses, you know. But I have seen that once you fill uh, your dark glasses in this, in this space, it is by and large quite good. I, I, keep, I sometimes even keep my keys here just for easy access. There is a very interesting space here, as you can see, it's quite deep, right, it's quite deep. It takes almost, my entire hand goes into this space. And this is a space where I carry uh, my quick use items. So for example, if I have any identification that I need to keep here, if I want to keep my passport, if what I would need immediately is all kept here. Right now, it also keep, I also keep uh, my Boko Norm in this place because it's so easy to access. Now you can cinch this down, an attachment here, right? But if you want, you can open this. And the moment you open this, this whole space opens out. And you can have this in the front, you have this pocket here. Um, I keep some key items here. For example, I would keep my washcloth, just wipe my face. I, I, I would keep some tissues, all that I can keep here. Then there is this entire compartment that opens up completely. So if you can see this, this entire compartment opens out. And here I keep my first aid kit. Okay, uh, more news on that later. If, if you if you have a one review on my first aid kit, I can share it with you. But this is where I keep my first aid kit. Uh, interestingly, there is a space behind this, which again, uh, if you can see, I've got some batteries here. Uh, this also has a key. Uh, where you can hook on your keys in this space it's so that you don't lose your keys this is not a review on what i carry in my bag uh, which i can do later now the central compartment in this okay is this very voluminous space uh, you can open it on the whole top opens out and you can see just the massive amount of space available here. This is where I carry my cameras. It easily takes uh, my Panasonic Lumix FZ200. It will also take any of your bridge cameras. It will certainly take one SLR plus, uh, plus at least it can easily take two uh, lens. Uh, I'm very happy to carry my Fuji Film XE1 with this with, with two lens, the 16 by 50 as well as the 50 by 230. I carry both of them in this compartment. If you can look into the compartment, I'll just show you. Uh, in addition to this voluminous space, you also have two pockets here. One pocket here and one pocket here, right? And let me open this up here. Yeah, these two pockets here and they help in, in making sure that you can keep your papers, maps, anything that you would require in a pristine condition so they don't get spoiled in this entire huge compartment. The other interesting part is that once you cinch this in, uh, you have the ability to keep it fairly water resistant. Right? So here, this takes a full Nalgene bottle and I really like it because at the end of the day when we go out on a trip when we're traveling I think one of the most important things for us to have is a bottle 
uh, a bottle of water so that we are not thirsty. Uh, the human body needs as much water as we can give it on a daily basis, right? The other important thing is that you can cinch it and then uh, your bottle is safe and secure. On this side, there are two compartments, right? So if you see, there is a large, deep, very, very deep compartment here, right? And then you have this interesting compartment here. So out here, I carry my torch, carry my multi-tool. Out here, we have this deep space where I carry my fern wolf. Uh, a review on that may come later. It's one of the nicest knives I've owned. Right, so this is my EDC knife carry space, and I usually clip it on like this. Uh, this space will also take a larger torch if you want. Now, when we come to the back of the bag, there is this very, very deep space here. Um, and this is a space where I can keep other things in my compartment. I, I'm, for example, at this point in time, I have a small poncho that I keep here to keep me out of the rain and anything else that is required. And it's a beautiful, beautiful compartment. This is the space also that I can keep my uh, Apple iPad. Um, this is also a space which will take almost any uh, small tablet uh, that you could keep here. And it's a great carry option. The other very thing I really really like about this bag is, is the ability to hook it in your hand and carry it. It's really comfortable to hold. You can see you can just lift it off and carry it with you wherever you want to go. It has this beautiful mesh here that allows, uh, that doesn't allow any sweat to form. It's very very comfortable. It, it hugs the contours of your body very well. I think is one of the most amazing design features uh, as well as interesting padding all through you know, both the spaces. You have enough padding to ensure that you're comfortable in a day long hike. And the other interesting thing with this is the carry strap by itself. Very, very ergonomic. It has this beautiful uh, padding here so that you know it, it, it doesn't chafe your skin. This is of course removable, so you can remove this padding off, but I like to keep it because it's one of the most comfortable paddings I've had in a long time in my bags. Um, yeah, so all in all, I would say one of the most fantastic bags. Now, at the bottom, you can see that there is a drainage hole for your water bottle in case there's, there's, there's any fluid that's there, it will drain out. There are attachment straps for you. So, in case you want to attach anything to the bottom of your bag, that is available. There's also this this space where you can put anything. For example, you could put a fleece jacket here and then cinch it down. So at any point in time, you have other carry options available to you. Molly attachments options are available all through the bag. So right here, you have multiple Molly attachment options. At the same time, you have uh, Velcro attachment options here, so you can just uh, attach something with Velcro so that it doesn't fall off. Um, and finally, uh, you have Molly attachments here. Uh, the other interesting thing is that there is a you could do is that you could clip something here as a pocket. It's quite a deep carry pocket. You can see almost my entire, all my fingers go in. It's a great option to carry as well. So all in all, great bag. Uh, can there be things that can be better about this? Of course. One of the key things I'd like to do is that if it's possible to carry this on my hip, uh, at the back of my hip, uh, unfortunately, the strap right now doesn't allow me to do that. I have to carry it around my shoulder and down to my waist. I would love it if this, if I had the ability, or the capability of wrapping this around my back and holding it at the back of my bag. The other thing I'd like this bag to have is a rain cover. Now, this is a thousand denier nylon and it has this very nice Dupont Teflon coating, which means that it is very water resistant. Uh, if you throw water on this, it, the, the water will just slide off uh, the top of this bag. But at the same time, it is not really waterproof. If, if you go out in the rain and it's raining torrentially, um, like for example, it happens in some parts of the world, this bag will get wet. 
So at the end of five years of using this bag, I can tell you that it's a fantastic investment. Uh, it will outlast most of the bags that you have in that I've had in my life actually. Uh, most importantly, it carries a shape. You can see there's nothing wrong with the bag. It still holds its shape. So I enjoy. I hope you enjoyed the review. At the end of it, if you liked it, please give a thumbs up. And I'm sure that uh, I'll be making more videos for you. And have a wonderful, wonderful day to you.